Hey YouTube, um, I bought some running shoes today. Uh, it is the Reebok Zig Nano shoes, uh, Premier Zig Fly. Um, it's the second pair of running shoes I've ever bought, um, and I just got tired of my original pair. Um, and I, I haven't gone running in them yet. Uh, I just tried them on at the store before I bought them, and was really impressed just by um, not only obviously by the look. Um, but the way they feel, they're extremely comfortable um, just from walking around for, you know, a minute or so. Um, they're really light. I really like that. Um, and another thing I really like is they are flexible. Look at that. That's cool. Um, and I know some of you probably already own a pair. They're kind of like, yeah, what's that's... I already know that, but um, I, you know, I don't because I've never owned a pair of Reeboks and I never really understood the whole Zig Tech stuff. I never understood what that was about until now, and um, I really like it so far. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. I don't know the exact specifications, you know, like the weight and you know what it's made of, but um, just from what I've seen, um, it's got this. Uh, I don't know if the, if the lighting will show up very well. It's got this honeycomb type mesh material here on the upper um, and it, it goes through the whole upper it's got it all along it um, and then on top of that it's got for the Reebok symbol it's got this leathery shiny carbon fiber type material um, and that's really cool it's also uh, this this mesh material that's, that's on the front here by the toes is also it goes underneath to it it goes straight through um, so there's there's nothing underneath. Whereas back here by the heel, um, can't really see it, or maybe you can. I don't know. It's got this foam padding right here from the heel all the way, probably up to about about here where the uh, the forefoot is, um, or the mid part of your foot. Um, it's very light. Like I said, uh, I like it that a lot because the other pair of shoes I had was Nike Dual Fusions. And they were nowhere near as light or flexible. I mean, they, they are light, but they're not as light as this. So, I like this a lot. Um, and... I bought these mainly because um, the Nike ones that I that I have, um, they hurt the heck out of my heels after I go running. Like, um, the other day, I went running four miles, and... I would say maybe two miles, three miles in, my uh, my heels were starting to get pretty sore. They were, I was starting to feel that that pain every time. You know, every single heel strike, it hurt. You could feel that little teeny surge of pain. Uh, by the last half mile, I was ready to give up. I was like, oh my god, I'm, I feel like someone's just, you know, like I'm stepping on a nail every single time. It hurt like crazy, and I hated it. And, of course, um, I didn't I didn't stop. I finished that half mile. But I don't like that. Um, I want to be able to run longer distances. Um, eventually, I want to run a marathon. And so, um, I want something, and I don't know, I doubt this is going to be the shoe I'd do it, I'd do it in, but this will at least get me started. Because uh, what I got ain't working at all, so um, I want to be able to get something bigger, something better than what I got so far. Um, what else can I say about it? Um, I just I really like it so far. Um, when I went there, I wanted uh, to try the Adidas uh, Out of Zero rides that they've been showing on TV, just because I like Adidas. I've got a pair of soccer boots from them. Uh, the F50s, um, if anybody knows about those, if not, oh well. Um, but when I went to uh, Foot Locker, they didn't sell any Adidas. And I was like, well, that sucks. So, the next thing I was going to look at was the Nike Free Run 2. Okay, they had them for women, and they were nice and purple, but they didn't have any for men. I was like, okay, that sucks again. So, I was like, well, shoot. What else can I look at? Because all they have, I don't, you know, I'm sure everybody goes to Foot Locker at some point. They got basketball shoes. Okay, I'm not hunt I'm not looking for a basketball shoe. I'm looking for a running shoe. So they had this little teeny section for running. Okay, and that was for both men and women. So for the men, it's like a three foot section just for running for men. 
and I was like, well, this is a great selection. Um, they had the they had these obviously because I bought them, and they also had the original Zig Tech Reeboks that they that came that they came that Reebok came out with. Um, I was not going to buy those just because those things look bulky and they look like boots almost. Um, I know one of my bosses has a pair, and he says they're really comfortable, which I, I don't doubt that, obviously, because I love these, the way they feel. Um, but I didn't want to buy those. I wanted something that would be more for, specifically for running. So I went with these, and um, I tried on the Reebok, I think it's Real Flex. I tried those on, too. They had that in gray, uh, a gray upper and orange sole. Um, and the sole's different from uh, the real flex from this. It's not that the wig zigzag line. It's different. I don't know how to describe it, but it's different. Um, did not like that at all. Um, it was lighter than than these. Uh, however, it was the upper was practically made out of like a cloth. It was so flimsy and flexible. I felt like if I had went running and I stepped on you know a little bit of an incline somewhere. I would have rolled my ankle in a heartbeat because I went. I was walking in the store with them, and you know you go to turn around, and I felt like my my foot was going to fall off the side of it. Um, so I didn't like that. And that that was very uh, scary for me. I didn't I didn't think that was a good buy. Plus, you know I can wear these I'm walking around somewhere. Um, the other ones I didn't feel like they were uh, something you can wear anywhere you want to. They were just meant for just run and nothing else. I didn't like that. So, um, and when I looked at these, they had the black and white, as you can see here, and they also had black and red, black upper and red sole. Um, the black and red's not bad. It's a, it's a pretty. I like the color scheme for it. However, um, I just felt like black and white was a better color combination because you can wear that with anything. You don't have to be. It's, it goes well with anything. So I felt it's a safer bet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my first impression. Um, I'm going to go running tomorrow. Not I'm not doing it today, just because the weather is not that great, and I just don't feel like doing it today. My muscles are still a little bit sore, so I'm gonna give my legs a little bit more recovery time um, before I go running tomorrow, and hopefully. Um, I can alleviate some of my heel pain and maybe even some of my uh, the pain in my calves too maybe that'll uh, help because um, it also came with this little card here uh, which basically tells about the technology of it and how it works and it uh, helps for uh, heel strikes which I need because my heels suck when I go running I hate them uh, I don't know if that means I've got some sort of condition, like plantar fasciitis, or I don't think that's a that's something else, or um, I don't know, but I don't like it. It hurts, um, and even standing and walking, you know, for a long period of time, it it's painful. So um, hopefully this will help, and. I don't know. I'll, I'll try the. I'll try running in them first before I think about getting some sort of uh, like heel insert or something. Because um, I was looking at those Doctor Scholl's custom fit orthotics, and I've heard those are pretty expensive, like near fifty bucks for a pair. And I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if my feet are that bad. Um, but I do know for a fact that I tend to even just by standing, um, I stand on the outer portion of my foot. I kind of basically I stand like this um, because I've noticed that okay um, this is the outside of the shoe this part gets worn away all along the side. I've got a pair of shoes um, that they, they're they pretty much you can see the the angle that it has been worn away on the outer side and that's on both shoes so I don't know what that means. I don't know um, how to correct that, um, but hopefully this will help and help me run better and help me run longer and all that good stuff. Um, if you have any questions or comments or whatnot, just uh, drop it in below. 
subscribe if you feel like it. If not, okay. Um, and hope everybody has a great day. Bye.